All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Big Yak Monthly Cup. The month of September has started, which means we have a new monthly circuit of the Big Yak Monthly Cup. Today is going to be weekly qualifier of uh, weekly qualifier number one of the month of September. So people's very first chance to win points towards the leaderboard and also potentially to qualify directly to the monthly final. Um, yeah, everything is going to work the same as last month. So basically, the way this tournament is going to work is... I randomized 15 maps from Trackmania Exchange and uh, we're gonna play these 15 maps in a tournament. 110 people are on server 1 alone, multiple other hundreds people, I don't know how many, are on server 2 and 3. And the way it's gonna work is that basically on each of the 15 maps I give players one warm-up around 40 seconds long where people can see the maps for the very first time so they don't know the maps beforehand and then on each map we're gonna play three live rounds and in each of the live rounds people can win points at some point people will reach the point limit which is 6969 points a very nice amount and once they reach that point limit they uh, need to win one more round in finalist mode to close out the match and that's basically how it's gonna work uh, we have a few twists today and for this edition of september that i will explain later on but for now i would say let's start with weekly qualifier number one of september 2024 i'm ready i hope the players all are as well let's go month i did it in a way there's a map pool of like 300,000 maps uploaded to trickmania exchange and i randomized 15 of them this month uh, i did something similar but not the exact same so what i did was to randomize three styles of maps so styles could be for example tech full speed uh, rpg dirt grass plastic many many styles you can think of and then for each of the three styles i randomized five maps basically that's what i did uh, to basically make every weekly qualifier a little bit of a signature edition you can say and the styles that are randomized for this weekly qualifier are race which is pretty normal rpg which is not so normal and backwards, which is absolutely not normal. So two very dank styles, one normal style today. And we're gonna start on map number one, which is called SVR38 EA Sauka. And I can tell you, uh, this map was part of the RPG maps that are randomized. So of course, RPG maps are often uh, very long, like, I don't know, five minutes, half an hour. Of course, I didn't choose maps like this. That wouldn't make sense for a tournament like this. So I decided to filter out certain maps because, yeah, as I said, cannot choose 30 minute long maps. And I also made sure that the maps are not too difficult. So none of the RPG maps is like extremely hard. There's gonna be one which is a little bit more difficult than usual, where people will also get a little bit more warm up. Other than that, all um, the usual difficulty. Uh, actually, a good start. Nothing too crazy happening here. We have some jumps. Uh, we have a pipe into quarter pipe and also a risky finish. Quite a short map. Nothing too crazy happening here. And um, yeah, let's just see how people will do on map number one. So, um, dot, dot, dot. There we go. We're starting. Let's maybe spectate Marius for round number one. Uh, Marius was very happy when he heard the styles because he is very good at backwards and he's also very good at RPG maps. So he has to hope to qualify this month directly. So basically getting top three. And uh, yeah, gonna be interesting. Round one is looking pretty juicy for him. We have Rotrex with the first round win is 16.4, instantly beating the offer time. Banger, Jan in second, Giuliano in third. So as you can see already in the top eight, a lot of the usual candidates are playing. Many people have returned who qualified to the monthly final uh, in the month of August. But also, uh, pretty surely, a lot of new players. It's hard to get an overview because, yeah, already on server one, we have 110 players. So that is pretty crazy. And, uh, yeah. Uh, are the styles alternating or are the RPG maps first and then backwards? Very good question. The styles are, of course, alternating to make it... Um, Interesting. So basically what I did, I put all of the maps onto a server and then just randomized the order. So now we have an RPG map. Next map could be backwards, could be race, but could also be RPG again, of course. Round one done. Pretty uh, good racing here by the people already. Seems like most of the good players have immediately learned the map. I mean, it's nothing too crazy. We have a few drops here where you want to reduce airtime and make sure to land clean to get a lot of exit speed. Then, of course, this here is very important where you want to land clean here to get the exit speed for the finish. Oh, I think... Oh, did Epiphany make the finish? I think he missed it. It's Giuliano in first with a point twenty-four. That is a very good time. Holy moly, M. Yeah, I hope uh, nothing is gonna break in terms of the point repetition. Because the way this tournament works, of course, I didn't explain it yet for the people who are watching for the first time. Basically, of course, people uh, win points on the leaderboard, obviously. They gain points here, as you can see. And the point limit is 6,969. And, uh, you know, 
That's basically how the tournament works. The thing is, um, in order to qualify for the monthly final, people have to gather points in each weekly qualifier. And the way it's gonna work is that in each weekly qualifier that's gonna happen, the top three, which close out the match first, are instantly gonna qualify to the monthly final. They're just insta-qualified, nothing can happen, they're just safe. And the fourth place of each weekly qualifier will win 15,000 points towards the monthly leaderboard, the sec uh, the and the fifth place will win 10,000 points. Everybody who reached finalist will win 7,500 points, and then the rest of the players, so everybody who did not reach finalist, will basically win the points that they had when the tournament ended. So the tournament ends, of course, when the fifth player has finished finalist. And let's say, uh, let's say Jan TM had 6,000 points when the tournament ended. That means he will win 6,000 points towards the monthly leaderboard. And then basically the points that people win in each weekly qualifier will be added up together. And the top 20 overall will then qualify to the monthly final. So, next map. We have a map called Springflower, and this was also a map of the RPG theme. And it's not really RPG, it is um, pretty much pathfinding. A very simple pathfinding, so I decided to include it, it's not that complicated. Um, but that is definitely a good map for people that have quite some brain power. So I expect people like Lars to be um, yeah, in the lead on this map. But let's see what people uh, will do route-wise. Let's spectate Rodrex, he did really good on map 1. So I'm looking forward to see his route. Is he gonna go for what I did? I mean, I'm not good at pathfinding and I immediately saw the route. I think most people will have figured it out and will go for exactly that. Oh, he is cutting actually over the edge. Okay, it's a slightly different route. He's going here. And then he's gonna be doing the same here, I guess. He's not going through the water. Interesting. Not sure if that's faster. Then he goes to the right. People have already finished. Okay, we potentially have some faster routes. Rotrex got 13th, which is pretty solid, but I'm not sure if you can do a 29 with that route. Definitely gonna spectate uh, Snappy to see what he's doing. Okay, the server is not that. We are alive, guys. We are alive. Okay, I'm confused now. I cannot really spectate anyone else. Uh, Snappy. Oh, Snappy is taking the outside checkpoints last. That's interesting. And now let's take a look at Snappy. What route is he doing? He is going to the right. Okay. Then taking this. Taking this, okay. So I guess he's taking the inside checkpoints first. Yes, looks like a very clean run he did here. Oh, and then he's going... Oh my god, that's an insane run, no? And now he's going outside. He just needs the outside ones. And then can instantly finish. Holy moly. Yeah, 29.4. Okay, seems like the very best route, actually. Good job by Snappy here. Uh, in the meantime, very important map. Spring 2024-23 and you might ask yourself what the hell why is this in here is this a race map no this was actually this map had the RPG tag <laughs> this map had the RPG tag this is one of the official RPG maps and for some reason it's the third RPG map in a row that's actually kind of uh, kind of uh, wild but yeah this is one of the official RPG maps and you know what's funny we have Giuliano on the server and Giuliano is the world record holder on this one so if he's not gonna win all rounds here, then I don't freaking know. <laughs> like, he's literally the world record all, uh, holder. So let's see Giuliano. Giuliano, we have that on camera, and around 1,000 people saw it. Ain't no freaking way. He has the world record, and then he risks the first side jump <laughs> just to win half a tenth, even though he could beat anyone by, like, half a minute on this map. Yeah, Giuliano, that was uh, not the smartest strategy, not gonna lie. And uh, we have Astronaut in first. Astronaut is a very good RPG player, so very interesting to see him doing well. Lars, of course, also uh, a good RPG player, can't deny that. Okay, people are taking it very safe. Let's see how many people get the AT. Oh my god, not many people got the offer time. Like, we cannot see it, but it's probably only like 20 people who got the AT. Very interesting. Let's see if he learned from his, his mistake. Yes, he didn't go for a side jump. Look, he's not even losing. Like, nobody is doing the side jump. <laughs> it was... Uh, like, he really threw away one uh, safe round there. Okay, but let's see now. He did hunt this map a lot throughout the entire season. He probably has, like, at least 20 hours of playtime. Let's see. Going for a slide here. Going for the drop. Here you want a lot of exit speed to carry into the wood section. He is getting it. Of course, this campaign has already ended. So he did play this map a lot, yes. But it's been some time ago. 
So let's see, will he survive? Looking pretty good. He is 0.7 ahead of everybody else. This is what I wanted to see. Uh, console players can sadly not join because uh, we have to use dedicated servers. Otherwise, this entire thing would not work. 44.7, Giuliano 02 behind the champion medal on this map. That is kind of insane. So let's see. Let's just spectate the very first player right now, which is Heath. Heath, of course, very good at playing fast in competitions. He's playing a lot of them. He knows how to handle those. So let's see how he's going to do on this map. He's not really a campaign hunter, though. So he might have a disadvantage on this map. But let's just see. How is he going to do? Star is looking pretty solid. Not far behind uh, the leaders of the round. Also, pretty nice inside line here. And getting a lot of exit speed. That is um, looking pretty good, actually. He is in seventh right now. I think he can be proud of that. Giuliano once again in first. Let's see. Can he... Oh, my God. Very close line here. But actually overtaking a lot of players. Not going for the low jump here. So he might have a little bit low speed. But it's looking fine. Could be a 4th or 5th place for him. Hard to see. And that is a 4th place for Heath. Very nice. Giuliano once again barely missing the uh, champion medal. And now we have one of the first backwards maps. Or like actually the first backwards maps. Kind of insane that we have 3 RPG maps in a row. It's time for backwards. Backwards, one of the styles that are randomized for today. And this one is called Fab Mini Backwards Call Your Grandma. Don't ask me why the map is called like that. But I can tell you this map is simple but also difficult. So backwards, if you guys are not aware, you have to do speed slides. If you don't do speed slides, you are incredibly slow. So Lars will show it here. You have to do speed slides just like you do with um, normal full speed driving basically. And uh, that small jump that you saw there is actually quite a crazy um, speed check. The rest of the map is quite simple. You just have to keep going backwards here through the turn and finish. So rather simple backwards map. But this speed check here, where you jump from here into here, is very hard. So jumping in here, speed sliding, jumping from the middle, and like that, you will make it without a problem. Then also speed sliding here. Oh my god, Elkon cooking like crazy. Oh, accident. No. Oh, did he touch? Oh, I think he had a small touch here. Not that great. He had a really good start, though. Then going for the speed slide drift cancel backwards, and that is a sixth place. For Elkon, good first round for him. Let's see, round number two. Let's spectate uh, Marius, maybe. Marius was very confident when he heard that RPG and uh, backwards maps will be played. And he expected himself, or like, was wishing for himself, that he is gonna instantly qualify to the monthly final, aka getting top three today. And so far, it is not looking too great for him. This round, though, pretty solid points for him. That's like a 10th place, I think. Yeah, 10th for Marius. That will earn him 320 points. But if he really wants to catch up to the leaders, he needs to cook a little bit more. And look at that. Heath and Lars, the top two right now, who also had a small gap. Not with the greatest points. 70 and 80 points only. So Giuliano catching up a little bit. Simon losing out on a few points. Very interesting. So let's see. Who do we expect this round? Let's go uh, to Seamouse. One of the many Dutchies who are playing this tournament. It's honestly really cool to see the Dutchies playing. Like, I feel like the Dutch community is very nice in general. Like, all of the Dutchies are, like, cool people, I feel like. It's like, cool to see many of them playing the cup. Uh, Samos with a small Yekarino here. Not sure what he did. Let's just see how he does for the rest of the round. He is, of course, quite far behind with that respawn. Only in 74th place. That is not very good. And in the meantime, it is Lars winning the round. Naive in second. Okay. Naive, of course, also quite a gamer when it comes to speed sliding. A good performance by him. So now, very important, we have a map called Mini RPG Solstice. And for this map, you guys are gonna have two minutes of warm-up. Because this map is a little bit more difficult. I don't even know what route people are taking. But people are having a route at least. So let's watch the Marius route here. He's he went around, now standing respawning. Interesting route here. I didn't figure out that route, I can tell you that much. I went for a... Uh, oh my god, Marius. <laughs> But yeah, understandable though. Yeah, super sorry. Like, <laughs> nothing that apologizes. It. Shit just happens. Nothing we can do about it. So, are we done with this map? Yes. So, the cup has been restarted. Mario is now doing pretty good. We also have Blef, uh, Plisky doing good. All right, all right, all right. So, this was the hardest map. We couldn't really focus on it now because, uh, yeah, things happened. Let's go to the next one. And this one is called Nachtheng. And on this map, I can tell you, I got first try world record when I tested it. It is one of the backwards maps. It's not a full backwards map, but it has some uh, backwards 
elements, basically. Uh, let's spectate Lars, I guess, maybe? Let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Does Lars know where to go? The funny thing is, the first two editions of the Big Egg Monthly Cup went on without any issues. Like, everything was fine. So here, people turn around. Uh, someone didn't turn around there. I know, yeah, Flo, Flo just didn't turn around, Giga Chat. <laughs> then we have a long turn here. We have a turn to the right. Now a jump, which is uh, kind of yak to be honest, and now a reverse bonk. So people are supposed to go up and then go backwards again, just like this. Because there is um, an anti-boost. Lars has really low speed. I'm not sure if he can get past that. Looks fine to me. Fun fact, when I drove my AT, I actually didn't turn around here. I just went forwards and it was completely fine. So you don't actually have to do this turnaround as a small tip. And then you basically finish. That's how it works. Next round. Uh, let's spectate Blef. Blef doing really good so far. Has a small lead over Elcon in second place. Let's see what lines he has. Going very far outside here. Oh, he got a really weird auto slide. What was that caused by? He has really low speed now. Not sure why he got that auto slide. Doesn't really make sense to me. But let's go over to someone else. For example, Nice. Nice actually has... Um, a nice uh, round here, not looking too bad. And ping. And ping. Okay, nice also actually not doing the backwards turnaround. Like this, you basically can easily make it over the anti-boost. And as you can see, you have a lot of speed. Like going backwards there doesn't make any sense to be honest. And nice with the perfect strats, getting a 42.8, beating the world record that I got. Really mad. <laughs> but yeah, nice time by him. Oh, nice this time with that random auto slide. Oh my god, Elkon! <laughs> Where did Elkon go? Holy moly. It's already really yak. Yeah, but like if I say, if I let people play now and they already play for 34 minutes and then I say, yeah, the addition doesn't count, that's like really yak. There is three other Mondays this month. Like this month, we're even gonna have four weekly qualifiers. So this one is, of course, really yak. I'm super sorry for that. But there is just nothing we can do, guys. It is just what it is, and we're gonna keep it running. Like, if you decided to leave this edition, if you do yak because, yeah, you're tilted or whatever, fair enough, I totally understand it, but there's still three more chances to qualify, and it would be pretty unfair for the people, you know, who keep a cool hat and still play now and still do good. And ladies and gentlemen, to the next backwards map. It's not, like, this map was um, randomized for the backwards category, but it's no backwards driving. It's literally just spring 2021, 09 reverse. I have no idea why it's called reverse magna, but it's literally just this map in reverse. <laughs> there is no backwards driving here. So uh, yeah, very interesting map. Second Nadeo map for today. So spring 2024, uh, 2021, 09 reverse. <laughs> and, like it is Nadeo map, yeah, but at least it's reverse Nadeo. At least it's reverse Nadeo. So let's see, Skandir, what is he gonna do? No airtime here. That was a very good line. Salmon going for a very big airtime here. Very interesting. Peng. Then smooth line here. Is getting a lot of speed for the ending. Oh, bit of an awkward landing, but looks still fine. And here you can easily overjump. Elkon, for example, did hit the finish here. That is, uh, yeah, very XCD. <laughs> anyway, second round. Let's see, let's see, let's see. The thing is, the more people leave, though, the more it should motivate other people to continue playing, because uh, the easier it will be to win points. Now, of course, change situation, and as I said, I understand when people are tilted, but in the ending, as I said, nothing we can do about it, and if people, you know, manage to stay cool and uh, get points and blah blah blah, then uh, it's still deserved in the ending. And what the hell did Elcon do? 32.1! More than half a second faster. Crazy. Okay, let's check in with uh, Lars now. Somebody said in the chat earlier that Lars also got tilted. Uh, yeah, let's see how he's gonna do now. The mat is absolutely calling this edition. What is going on in game chat? Uh, I don't know. Just a quick reminder that we can ban people from servers. So if you type shit, no. Just as a small warning. Oh, look at this. Lars with a nice line. Looks like a solid position for him. Yes! Sniping into third place. And very good points for Elcon. Nice. Elcon definitely didn't tilt out. Like, Elcon kept cooking afterwards. And it's doing good. 
Very nice, very nice. Okay, somewhat soon we are back at the part where we where we did the restart. <laughs> All right, next up we have Lomat 4 VIP, another map by Fapsi. And this is also a map of the backwards category. So yeah, this is probably the second hardest map of today. After this, there is basically no hard maps left, to be honest. No hard maps left at all. So, let's see. Okay, some people are going forwards. Let's see, is somebody doing what I think? Yes. People, some people are turning around at the start and instantly going uh, forwards. That is the strat that I figured out as well. So, big brain to the people doing that. And let's see. Oh, Stefan Gose, not sure if he has enough speed for the quarter pipe jump. This one is really hard. Oh, barely not enough. Let's hope he can get it with a respawn. In the meantime, Blef with a first place. There is actually a shortcut that you can do, and Nice did it. Look at this. Nice instantly shortcut it to this. Very smart. Nice is such a smart player, to be honest. He might not be like the sickest player individually, but he is smart. Blef doing some wicked stunts here. Surviving, though. Not sure why he went for the 360, but it worked out. And then you have to go to the right, and now, Achtung, jump scare. Three, two, one. <laughs> 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 No, Blef! No, 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 Blef! What are you doing? And Blef is still third. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, most normal Trickmania map here. Definitely very, very difficult without any proper warm-up. CJP going for a backflip. Giga chat. Let's see how many people are going to be caught. So, CJP, Achtung! Wait, there is a risky fin- Oh, no, never mind. There is not. And, three, two, one. <laughs> I swear, everybody is doing that. It is fully fair, because literally everybody will be doing that. Trust me, everybody is doing that. Like, everybody. Because you just cannot see it. <laughs> okay, let's see what's gonna happen here now. Oh, Stefan goes to going for a big air time. Is he gonna make it? He's clipping. Is he gonna land on his roof? Can he turtle? No, Stefan goes in the mud. Scheiße, ey. It's a hard jump, though. Okay, I cannot spectate Scandia for some reason. Elcon in first place, though. Let's see his ice jump. Is he gonna make it clean? Yes, looking good for Elcon. Let's hope he is aware of the pools. Yeah, he's not aware of the tree, though. <laughs> and okay, Elcon with a round win. 42.1 is easily world record, I can tell you that much. Okay, final round here. Wait, Elcon is going backwards. Ach so? Yeah, Giga Chat, he's going for the very risky strat. It's probably the fastest strat you can go for. But as I said, it's really hard to uh, get the quarter pipe jump. So crazy that people are going for it. I would have just turned around. Oh my god, look at this. Holy shit. Wow. Okay. Wicked. And then he's also going for the cut. Yeah, okay. My name is Elcon and I'm insane at the game. Wicked. Now bad gear Iceland. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh my god, poor Elcon. He didn't, he deserved better. He does the, he does the backwards turnaround, insane, cut 360, and then he jumps against the tree. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it gone. Oh, banger. Banger. Still a uh, good performance by him though. Like the maps. We had another Nadeo map? Winter 2022-08? I think this must have been one of the race maps. The randomizer is rolling what the randomizer wants to roll. It is just what it is. Like it or not. And this was really not one of the greatest ones. My name is Hobbit and I'm also joining the cup now. You got chat? <laughs> I mean, at least everybody knows this map. So can't complain that it's too difficult or anything. Oh, Elkon with a really good bobsleigh line, definitely overtaking the one or other player. And that is a fourth place for Elkon. Jan van Achtern with a juicy time as well, 27.7, not bad. Watching Elkon is always the biggest wicket and the biggest jack moments, it's true. Like, Elkon is honestly one of the most fun players to spectate. Like, there's always something happening, either like in a positive or in a negative way. But there's always something happening. It is just what it is. So, what is gonna happen now? Marius, looking good. Also, I have no idea how we're gonna do it with the YouTube video, by the way. The mud is just absolutely calling. <laughs> oh my god, man. Really a yak edition.
there is no point in blaming anyone. Like, it's not like you restarted on purpose. Then I would be really mad, of course. <laughs> but why would anybody do that? Like, it's just... Shit happens. So, uh, let's spectate someone else. We, was, we were on Marius for a long time now. What about Bliski? Who is Bliski even? Who the hell even is that? He has the same club tech as um, Propane. But I don't know who Bliski is. Like, I feel like the name might be familiar to me, but I'm not sure. But he's doing pretty good, though. In fourth place right now, he is consistently getting points. That is nice. And we have another RPG map. It's called Lerap. Lerap, Lerap. I don't know. Very short map. Basically, only one trick that you have to do. And I'm pretty sure Elcon will show it to us. It's pretty simple. You have to do a flip out of this ramp. And uh, then drive into the finish. That is the entire map, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Elcon, and I'm overjumping. <laughs> that is literally all you have to do. Flip out, land in the quarter pipe. Okay, if you get it like this, you will probably win the round. And then drop into the finish. One trick, very simple. It had the RPG tag, and I think it's quite nice for this format. It's definitely very yak. <laughs> I can tell you that much. Definitely very yak. And I'm gonna do a quick Twitter post, and uh, not Twitter, but like Discord post later. And look at this, Elcon getting it very juicy, but many others are as well. I think Elcon is gonna be in fourth place. But look at this, people are cooking very, very close. Intax in first with a 68. Same goes for Plisky, also with a 68, 3000 behind though. And damn, that is some really good points there. Okay, people are getting closer to finalist mode though. Elcon at 5.6k, finalist is reached at 6.9 of course. So people are cooking, and especially the people who, uh, you know, it's also kind of a skill that we tested today. We tested patience and uh, staying cool. Wait, look at this, Chris! Holy shit! Boah, Chris! With a point fifty nine. Okay, my name is Chris and I'm also playing the tournament still. Crazy. Nice cooking by Kubel Chris. Holy shit, eh? Not bad. Good performance by him in this round. Imagine Scrappy would have played today. <laughs> Imagine Scrappy would have played today. The mud would have been calling. Oh, look at this, Giuliano. But Jan van Achtern with a juicy time. What is it going to be? A 0.5? Yes, 52. Very good time by Jan van Achtern. A lot of 0.6, 0.7, and 8 as well again. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Anyway, next map. Wuffelin Karta. And this is another race map. And probably one of the most normal maps so far today. We have um, a dirt map with old school dirt blocks. So with the Trickmania Nations Forever slash TM2 dirt blocks. Look at this. So some old school dirt. So if we have some, uh, you know, old school players, then, uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> people could be really good at this. We will see. So anyway, let's see what's gonna happen here. Elcon doing pretty good in round one. Same for Heave. We have a skip here over the dirt. Nice. Oh, Heave with a touch. Elcon surviving. So Elcon will probably win this round. The good thing is tm one dirt is, of course, really bumpy and really XTD. But... Oh, look at this, Croxy! No, Croxy! <gasps> Croxy was too fast! No, okay, I'm very sorry for Croxy. Croxy was too fast for the risky finish and basically overjumped it. That is really unfortunate. I hope he still got some solid points down. Alright, but Elcon will now get into finalist because he pretty much only needs to get, yeah, 14 points. That should be doable for him. So let's check in on Marius. Marius, of course, someone who definitely did play a lot of competitions back in the days already. So he should be aware of these blocks, and he should be able to get good rounds through. So let's see. Marius looking pretty good here, I would say. Looking fine. Okay, let's see. Will Marius make the risky finish? Is he aware that he can overjump? <gasps> no! Oh my god, Marius missed it. He was not aware. <laughs> oh, th that finish is really shit, to be honest. That finish is really fucking shit. Wait, did Lars also die? Ain't no way. I hope Lars is not... Uh, <laughs> come on, Lars and Marius. You guys can do it. Stay calm. You guys can still win it. Let's see. Elcon is finalist. We have to keep an eye on Elcon. So if Elcon... Elcon is in finalist mode. That means he needs to win one more round in order to close out the match. And that would mean he would instantly qualify to the monthly final of the Big Tech Monthly Cup, where players can win prizes worth of 400 euro. And he is looking pretty good in round one here. Could he close it out in his very first attempt? Let's see. Who is second? Heath. 
Heath potentially overtaking. Having a better line here, it's gonna come down to the ending. Who is gonna get the ending better? They are neck in neck. Elkon going for less speed, going for no slide. Having less speed is, is a little bit. GG. <laughs> Heath didn't make the risky finish. He tried his very best, but that risky finish sadly is Turbo Yak. And yeah, Elkon saved it, and that was a very smart decision. GG Elkon. Winning it, the very first person to qualify to the monthly final of the Big Yak Monthly Cup September 2024. Arguably winning the most Yak edition of the BYMC that we will ever have. So yeah, GG for Elcon, keeping it cool even though he did uh, good in the beginning as well already. He just did his best and in the ending it paid off. Good performance by Elcon. Uh, in the meantime we go over to map number, I don't even know what, it's called... Maxalatico Puo Luca Hilolalala. Very uh, interesting map name, uh, map name by Cola. And uh, this is another race map, a race map, uh, basically a normal one. Nothing too crazy here. Nobody can con can complain about this map. I'm pretty sure about that. Could be a good map for Lars because uh, you need to learn the map quite quickly and the map is quite long. Basically, when you jump out of here, you need to continue driving. It's a bit weird. Oh my god, uh, no, it's after the respawn. Oh my god, you have to jump back to this road and then go left. Oh, and people didn't see it in the warm-up. That's gonna be a shit show. Uh-oh. I'm scared. Please don't be a shit show. Please don't be a shit show. Please don't be a shit show. Please not. Please just figure it out. We had enough shit show for today. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm scared. I am very scared. Okay, gear down, but doesn't matter for Lars. And now, will people see it? Okay, most people saw it. Okay, 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 okay. it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's a bit tricky, but most people saw it. Then we have dirt. People at this point don't know where to go. They literally have to go by their instincts and by, you know, seeing what to do. But there is the finish. Okay, pretty normal map here. Can't complain too much about it, I would say. Pretty solid map. Probably one of the most normal maps of today. We're gonna pay attention to Pliski. Pliski didn't have the greatest round now, so the chances of him closing it out are not too high. He has to win over a lot of other players. So let's see, we're gonna keep our eyes on him, of course. Will he close it out in his first try just like Elkon, or will he not? <coughs> let's see. We still have two slots left, like basically the second and third place of today will also instantly qualify to the monthly final. So they are basically worth just as much as the first place. But then also fourth and fifth place today will win a huge amount of points towards the monthly leaderboard. So uh, also that is something worth a lot. And yeah, the round is not looking too great for Bliski. Also hitting the checkpoint here, I think this round uh, is not going to be the one for him. There's no way he catches up that many positions. The thing is Bliski was very consistent so far, like consistently getting points in basically every single round but not too often winning them. And now in the ending, of course, you have to get to finalist mode as quickly as possible, but in the ending, you need to win one more round. You need to win one more round. So let's see. In the meantime, I'm gonna eat a few cheeky Salzstangen. It's the same Salzstangen that I'm eating for like one week, which are like openly standing on my desk, and they are not nice anymore. Yeah, like they don't get bad, but they just are not like crispy anymore. They are like, you know, like so, like, <laughs> Anyway. Final map, uh, final round on this map. Um, it might be possible that we once, that at some point we're gonna loop back to the first maps so that people have already played. But since already everybody played them, it's fair, I guess. Well, let's see, Pliski. He is really trying his best. He is having good lines, but everybody seems to be fast at this map. Oh, great line by him. I see potential. Oh, no, once again hitting the checkpoint. That is really unlucky for Pliski. Damn, eh. Damn, 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 damn. Unlucky. Let's take a look at Lars for the rest of the round. Ah, Bliski, eh? Go, go, man. I wish him the best of luck. Let's see what's gonna come up next. I'm not sure if we have... We shouldn't have too many backwards or um, RPG maps left. Like, maybe one or two. But that's it. But we should still have some race maps. So mostly normal maps coming up from now on, I think. What is next? It is Tiny Maps 196. And this was actually one with the RPG tag. Very cute map. Very uvu. Nothing too crazy happening here. I think there is... A, is there a small shortcut here that I just saw? Not sure. But this one um, will be very tight. We have another finalist now. Blef has made it. So let's see what he's gonna do in the warm-up. But this one could be... Yeah, won by anyone. 
Is there actually a cut here? Oh, there is a cut. And people are doing it. And Lars got it. And if you are not aware of that, you will have no chance of winning. That is crazy. That is a crazy trick that people have to perform. The pressure is high. Let's see. Let's see. Did, does Pliski know about the map? Oh, Pliski knows about it. If Pliski gets it good, he could win it. <gasps> he has a good turn. He is clipping. No, it's Lars overtaking Lars with the new slide. And it's Lars denying Pliski by a little bit. Oh my god, eh? that is going to be exciting. Lars now in finalist. We also have Nice in finalist. And we also have... Okay, Arpa is not finalist yet. But holy moly, shit is going to get exciting. Let's see. This could be a good chance for Lars. Not sure if he will get a better one. What is going to happen? Only people going for the cut can have a chance at winning rounds here. Lars landing nicely, but it's also Pliski once again landing nicely, but also Arpa. Oh, who's winning? Croxy? No, it is. Huh? No way. There is a cut. <gasps> there is a cut. There is a plastic bounce cut. Nah, and Marius did it. No way. Marius did the cut. There's a lower finish. <gasps> I didn't know. Oh my god, that is insane. And Marius is now in finalist. Arpa finalist. Okay, now shit is gonna get crazy. This is kinda insane now. Holy moly. I'm not sure if anybody else is aware. Like, people are. People are. <coughs> but they have to do both cuts here. That's actually such a crazy RPG map. Considering it's 13 seconds long. So he knows about the cut. Is he gonna go for it? Is he gonna make it? Hobbit knows about it. Marius going for it. Is Marius gonna make it? No, but it's Marreint here. Marius hitting the pole. Oh my god, what is happening here? Now it's getting really exciting with the finalists. Holy shit. Oh my god, we have an RPG map again. And it's a map from the Sportix Cup. And there are some people playing this tournament who could potentially know this map. A Sportix Cup map. Ain't no way. Oh my god, Torben as well, Jan as well. Okay, who do we spectate? Let's spectate uh, Blef maybe. Oh, Blef not going for the respawn. Uh, not going for the smooth landing. Oh, Marius with a nice line. Marius with a really nice line. Does Marius know the map? Marius going for the booster. You don't need it, but maybe it's helpful. But Marius overjumping this. Overjumping this. Lars, it is Lars, it is Lars with the... With closing it out. It seems like the booster is not worth it, but what a wicked strat by Lars. GG uh, by Marius. GG to Lars. I think Marius has a good chance of getting uh, third now and to also instantly qualify. By yeah, Lars, of course, one of the strongest players in this format. I'm glad he kept playing and didn't like tilt out or anything. So uh, GG to Lars. Crazy. Very, very crazy. So, second round. Come on. Marius, do it. Will he pull it off? Release. Clean landing. Nice. But many others are aware of that as well. The drift here. Oh my god. Heath getting it really sick. Heath is finalist. Will Heath qualify? He... No, he clips! He clips! What's gonna happen? Who's gonna make it? It's Auris winning over Pliski. Pliski getting the knight by 200. Oh my god. And Heath trolled it away. Heath had it easily. He had such a sick round. So those bonus points can... Save your ass if you want to qualify to the Munchie Final. And what a line by Marius. Marius, is he... Why is he going for the booster? No, Marius. With the wrong strat. And he is going to lose time with that. He was not aware who's going to win. It's Braunsen denying. Oh my god, Pliski. I feel so bad for you, Pliski. Not going to lie. <laughs> that is literally the fourth second place for Pliski. Holy moly, hey, he's doing so good. I really want him to close it out. But yeah, with that, we have more finalists, guys. Jan is finalist. Snappy is not finalist. Kush is finalist. And hey, same as finalist. Kush is not yet finalist. Holy shit, hey. Shit is gonna get more and more insane. 14. Oh my god. Okay, this map is shit. I'm, I'm already deeply sorry, guys. This map. I'm sorry. This, this, this map is super <laughs> yeah <laughs> this map is really bad guys I'm, I'm very sorry i'm so sorry that we have it in this situation this map is really bad <laughs> this map is so bad i am very sorry and it's the big egg man freak up so august do you know about the checkpoint yes okay so let's see this is super hard to follow then you go forwards again a lot of people are doing good and then you have to turn around here and this turnaround is not easy it is really hard you have to hold break basically it is super difficult Who's gonna win it? 
Who's gonna win it? No, Hagen and Marius both didn't know about the checkpoint. Ah, it's flow winning. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. This map is really shit. This map is so bad and I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we have more finalists. So I hope everybody is gonna go for it. Now I'm gonna follow it in camp 7 because it's way, hard, way too hard to spectate. I hope everybody is aware. Yes. Okay, pretty much everywhere is, everyone is aware. Jan van Achtern. Jan van Achtern not getting a boost skip. Snappy, but he's getting sniped by Poljak. Poljak could close it out. Poljak, who is that even? But CJ has a lot of speed. It's CJ winning. And CJ was, of course, not finalist. Denying Flo and Snappy. Bro, I can't anymore. I absolutely can't. What is happening? Come on. Do it. I'm gonna follow it in camp 7 because it's impossible to call who's gonna do good on this. Oh, Colesto getting it good. Colesto getting it good. Okay, everybody getting it. Who is it gonna be? Getting the turnaround. Oh, Jan, 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 Jan could pull it off, but nice is sniping and nice is gonna close it out. We have a winner. GG. Too nice. Fighting it out against so many others and he played really smart on many maps. So definitely a deserved win for Nice. He also played every single edition so far, I think. So yeah, very cool to see Nice making it. Deserved slot. Marainja has a cooked record. Could he possibly deny some finalists? Not with this landing. I have no idea what's happening now. It's impossible to spectate. It's impossible to call. Blef is not going to be the one. Is it going to be Marius? No, it's Padenfechter. And Padenfechter is getting fourth place. GG to Padenfechter. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Good performance by him as well. With that winning, 15,000 points. That is some lacquer points. Juicy. And Marius getting the knight by 100. Eh? Crazy. 10,000 points on the line. Let's see. Is Marius gonna make it? Yes or no? Let's spectate him for possibly and very likely the final round. Let's see. Getting clean landings in the start. Oh, very clean landing here. A lot of extra speed. He might be able to close it out if he keeps the speed, but he gets a bad landing. Who is going to win it? It looks like it's going to be Jan, but yes, it is Jan. And Jan, with that, in fifth place, winning 10,000 points towards leaderboard. And with that, it's a GG, guys. But yeah, two Dutchies made it. Padenfechter and Jan, the secret Dutchie. <laughs> so yeah, GG, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much to everybody who joined. Special thanks to the people who, uh, you know, stood on the server after all of the yak stuff happened. Once again, uh, we're deeply sorry that it happened. Um, it will never happen again. I can assure you that much because, uh, yeah, that is uh, for sure. And uh, yeah, that's just how it is. Next week is gonna be more normal again. I'm gonna make sure to not pick a map where I will give extra warm up. We will definitely make sure to not restart again. So once again, very sorry. I hope you guys still enjoy playing and watching it. Thank you very much again, as I said, for still staying. And I hope you guys all understand it. Um, yeah, shit just happened. 